Minion in, I am playing Darkest Phil Castle, and this, unless somebody within the next day brings something to my attention that I that I overlooked, is the last of the Summer Game Fest demos for E3 that I'm going to be playing. I, there's already like 33 videos on this playlist. I have been kicking it over time to show you as many of these as possible, but uh, I gotta say, I'm, I'm kind of glad that this is done with, but on the other hand, I can't wait for some of these games to come out. Some of them won't come out until like September, maybe later, and um, I want I want all, well not all the games on the list obviously, but all the ones that I have said, this gets the minion seal of approval, it's going on my get list, my get list must be fulfilled, and uh, Darkest Hill Castle apparently, uh, the release date says 2017, so maybe this is already out for other platforms, but we're going to have a look at it anyway. It has a normal and cat mode. Maybe we'll explore what that's all about. I don't know! Darksville Town was a calm and warm It's pronounced place. Darksville, you guys. But sometimes towns change, and this was the case. Ah, uh, rhyme. What Yuck. What occurred? The strangest thing so far. On Darksville landed a fallen star. Has it now? The townspeople saw this, and their surprise was big. The fallen star Inside was a kid. The fallen star was a demon baby named Sid. He was special, not like the average kid, with a creepy look and always chaos amid. Each year that passed, he showed without rest that his demon nature was on manifest. Mischievous, chaotic, always causing pain. The problems of others for him were a game. He grew with time, and something I can say is that when evil starts, only evil will stay. Here is when Sid's adventure starts to extend. But just keep in mind, he doesn't have a happy end. <laughs> All right, so what do we do? What are we doing here? Oh, check that out. That looks cool. So it's pronounced Darksville. And not Darkestville. Skip movie? No. Is the movie still happening? Starring Stephanos Rex as Sid the Demon. Programmed by... Okay, that's not a movie. That's the credits. Skip that. As much as, you know, I mean... Love and appreciation to game devs. You guys are my people. Ah, is this a, a wonderful night to be a demon? Point and click Isn't adventure. Buttons? Oh, I agree. Now let's see what's on the agenda of Evil tonight. Let's see. Uh, here it is. Wednesday the seventh. Sneak up on the Hamanson's daughter and cut her braid. Check. Already did that last week. Doubt it's grown back. Create an army of giant mutant chickens to terrorize the farm. Eh, that one didn't quite work out last time. The villagers managed to kill all the chickens and use the excess meat to feed the kids at the. Are those clouds out there? Little bastards. So let's just skip that until I perfect a non-edible cyborg chicken or something. Make Miss Barbara's pies go sour. Mm, better not. I'm starting to think that old bat's developed a taste for sour pies. I swear she's playing me. Feed laxative laced bird seed to the local pigeons so they wreak havoc on town. <laughs> All right, yeah, that one sounds pretty great. That so does. Interested. Your nights of evilness are over. What I want to do that. Sounds like damn teapot. I want to get some laxative and some bird seed. This time it is over for realsies. For realsies. There's no escape from this one. None of your tricks will save you. No more Sid the Demon terrorizing the town. Yep, that's. Is whoever's talking half braces? Quickly. Who knows what like annoyance that ones? nagging insect is cooking up? What is this? Okay, I'm guessing point and click adventure. It looks very point and clicker, clickish, clickish. Oh yeah! Oh look! I think he can get the cursor. Big book. Look at the big book. Talk to the big book and grow. Oh, this is classic. This is like. Old school point and click. Look, talk to, touch. I've already read this book twice. 
I think I need to let it stew a little before I go in for round three. Hmm. Teddy bear, can I look at the teddy bear? He's my best. Mr. Buttons, man. I was up all night, guys. This is hour sad. ten. Sometimes he gets grumpy. Hour ten of me playing these demos. I have been at this all day. All I've eaten today is cheesecake. A slice for breakfast, two for lunch, and then one about an hour ago. I'm not living the healthiest life right now. And it's all for you guys, so you can bed. see these great games. Well, it isn't that comfy, but at least it's a bed. Also, it's because I really love cheesecake. I'd say I love lamp. It's my say it. Lamp. I didn't say I love lamp. It's too heavy to carry around, and it's okay where it is. He's not wrong. I can't talk to that. Well, why not? You've been talking everything else. Hi, handsome. Mm hmm. Okay, bathroom door. Open. The door is locked. Luckily for me, I'm not in a hurry to use the bathroom. Can I pick up the cane? A gentleman has no class if he doesn't have his cane. I agree. I had a cane for the longest time. Some of my favorite had a ram's head on it, silver one. I was very proud of that thing. Twelve easy steps, doom and destruction, and the three little piggies. Look at a painting of Mr. Buttons. It perfectly captures Mr. Buttons' personality. All right, to the hall. I hope there wasn't anything else. I mean, these point-and-click adventures. You have to examine and pick up everything. You have to fill your inventory with so much crap because you might need some of it later and you can't go In these drawers I used to store all anywhere sorts of useful gadgets and inventions until you have all those things. It's my lovely fish Domingo. He knows how to do some cool tricks like act like a fish or splash, but usually it's super ineffective. Huh. Talk to him. Hi, Domingo. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy, Domingo? You are. Yeah, you're a good boy. It's the door that leads to the kitchen. Heard... The door is closed. I locked a giant rat inside. <laughs> I wonder if I've heard this voice actor anywhere else. Okay, so bicycle chain. Can I take that with me? That seems like the kind of thing I need. To the inventory you go. Yep. Coat stand. It's my old coat stand. It perfectly matches the atmosphere of my home. Old coat, take it with you. There you no go. No one knows when you're going to need a coat with this crazy weather. Even if that coat is old and full of holes and stinks. <laughs> it's a mountain. So scenic. Trap door lever. Well, where's the trap door? If I flip that, will I be standing on it? It activates the trap door that is outside my castle. Outside. It's very useful when Girl Scouts are selling cookies. What? Don't give me that look. I just want some cookies, and they always run away when I answer the door. <laughs> well, flip it, because what's his face is standing outside, right? Goodbye, Dan. Wait, why isn't this working? I should check the engine in the castle basement. What's this? Hungry wolf? Jail? Lever? That lever releases the wolves. Ah, so many lovely memories tied to this thing. Well then. Release the wolves! Ha ha ha! Ha ha! Um, shouldn't there be a bunch of screaming, howling, and general chaos right about now? Wait, probably has something to do with the fact that I forgot to feed the wolves throughout the entirety of winter. Whoopsie. Hmm. The basement door is locked. Oh god, am I already stuck? To open it, I'll need the basement key. Well, we should look for that then. Can't go any farther down that way. Can I go left? No. What do I have? An old coat? What if... Can I search the old coat? What if the key's in there? Here, I can go outside. I can't go outside. Dan Teapot is holding the door from the other side. 
Mm. I should talk to him. I guess. Don't try anything funny, demon. Today your evil existence ends. You are not going out. I will trap you inside your castle. Oh. Multiple choice conversations. Isn't it a little past your bedtime, Danny boy? First of all, it's never too late for me. I am the relentless protector of Darkestville. It's 11 p.m. 11 p.m. already? Maybe the other voice actor pronounced it wrong. Gosh. Or this one did. Maybe it's a little late, but I'm on a mission, so I will stay. No matter what. How many times have we been through this? 146 times. 147 if we count the time you dressed as a girl in order to seduce a giant monkey to turn it against me. Lady Danina and I are not the same person. She is a long lost, charming, absolutely female cousin. You don't have any uncles or aunts. Exactly. That's why she was lost in the first place. <laughs> why don't you go away? I have diabolical schemes to follow. Ha! <laughs> Forget it. Your nights of evil deeds are over. You're not leaving this place. Nuh uh. Leave this place before I hurt you in vague but unpleasant ways. You can't hurt me. You're locked inside your castle. You do realize that it's you're standing point. on a big trap door with an X on it. <laughs> do you take me for a fool? I already sabotaged the trap door mechanism and locked the basement door. He locked the basement door? Which key did you use to lock the basement door? This one. Thanks. <laughs> Hey, that was my <laughs> I don't care. You can't fix the mechs I made down there anyway. This trap door is still useless. Let's see about that. <laughs> Do you have the missing part of the trap door mechanism? I will not fall for that again. Today is your end. You are not leaving this place. <laughs> what is your plan? Starve me to death? Because I have plenty of food here. I'm not telling you. Did you notice that you're blocking the entrance to my castle? I know. It's a part of my brilliant plan to end your demonic deeds. I love this kind of game. I really do. Ah, forget it. You this is a big part of my childhood is games like this. What's going on here? Nothing in particular. The only thing that I can interact with is Dan. Alright. To the hall! I do have the key to the basement now. Which I love how we tricked we tricked him into uh <laughs> To open it I'll need the basement key. Well we have it, don't we? Ta ta Oh we tricked him into giving us the key. This will drop an anvil onto the unsuspecting prisoner. Isn't that fun? Key, come on. The inventory chest is in the way. Pick up the key. I'm happy to have the key to my bathroom. It would be terrible to be locked at home without the bathroom available. That that would be terrible. Screwdriver bit. Pick that up. I should be more careful where I leave my tools. It's my research about cybernetic ducks. Turns out, cybernetic ducks are a horrible idea. That's why I'm building a cybernetic chicken. Robot chicken. Buck, buck, buck. A not quite finished cyborg chicken. It still needs a soul in the soul slot to work, if my theory is correct. A soul in the soul slot. Hey, there's a diagram of what'll happen if I uh, the whiteboard. The mechanism is simple. But what'll Someone happen if I over the trap door, open I trap door. trap door lever, and the dope falls through a system of pipes to end up in this jail. Falls through a system of pipes. I dig it. That's the last guy who hey, went in there, I guess. I found Waldo. And he is dead. <laughs> the skeleton is stuck in jail. Hi, Waldo. How are you today? Talkative as always. Alright, what else we got? Trap door mechanism. Dan Teapot has vandalized the door mechanism. The chain and some cogs are missing. I have a chain. Dan Teapot has vandalized the door. Yeah, I know. We've we've been through this.
The chain fits, but it's going to need some lubricant. It's way too rusty as is. Where am I going to find lubricant? Old fridge. There used to be a sandwich inside. It's empty. I think Dan stole my sandwich. Jackass. <laughs> Did you say you have plenty of food? Old evil plans and research well, a kitchen about with a giant rat in inside it. those boxes alongside my old toys. I don't want to unbox all that stuff. All right. What else have we got? It's the broken trapdoor mechanism. I think that's all we've got down here. But we found the key to the uh, bathroom. So, does the anvil at least still work? Okay. Sort of. Wasn't very impressive. Can I look in there? Search drawers. I used to store all sorts of useful gadgets and inventions Screwdriver. in here. Nonetheless, the only thing I found inside that is not broken or useless is this multi-bit screwdriver. With no bits at all. That's okay. We can combine the screwdriver with the bit. Now I have a fully functional screw driver. What is this? Okay, that's just a picture of a turkey to signify that that is the kitchen door. Why not? I like to label all my doors in case I forget where I am. Ta ta! Okay. Ooh, look! I'm all ready for a mud bath. Shorts, why not? How the hell did that end up here? Is that even physically possible? <laughs> I don't want to break the short. It looks more like a towel at this point. It's me. It is. What is this? A medicine cabinet? It's locked and glued with some kind of sticky stuff. Why? It's glued shut and I can't pry it open. Maybe if I had some kind of abrasive substance or another. What about the stuff in the tub? It's full of oil. See, I was expecting this shipment of penguins that I planned on oiling up and releasing back into the wild, but they never showed up. Why would you oil up penguins? The towel is oily. Good, take it. It's stuck with something at the bottom of the bathtub. Ah. Uh. Of course it is. Non-abrasive soap. Well, then I can't use it for the... Now I can wash my hands properly. Yeah, yeah. I read them when I don't have anything else to do. Is that a button? Oh, no, it's, it's a toilet. The true frozen throne. <laughs> nice. It's a treasure chest, and it contains the treasure of storing dirty clothes in an organized way. I don't want anything from there. It's full of dirty clothes. All right. Light switch? No? Cabinets? Drawer. All right, what if I put the soap in the tub? That doesn't need to be slippery. Oh, it's to make things slippery, is it? All right. Thank you for the hint. I can't use the cane with that. Can you use it with a towel to pull it out? Like, I can't use the cane with that. No. Can I pull the plug, get the oil out of the tub somehow? I'd prefer to keep my hands clean. Well, you've got soap. Do it and then wash your hands. It's a regular bathroom tap. That I can turn on. Okay. That doesn't need to be slippery. No, it does not. But, you know, it was worth a try. I probably need water for something later. A fake wanted poster made by Dan Teapot. I keep it as a memento. It reads Dead or Alive, Sid the Demon, One Million Berry. Huh. How do I get this towel out of the bathtub? 
It's stuck with something at the bottom of the bathtub. Yeah, but it's probably clogging the drain. Just grab it and yank, dude. What could I possibly... Okay, what do we pick up in here? We got the screwdriver bit, we got soap. See if I can combine anything. Nuh -uh. <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah, I wouldn't see why. But... It sounds like it would make sense because soap is slippery, but trust me, really. Wait a minute. A terrible lubricant. The oil in the tub is a lubricant. Chain. Some kind of oil, yes. No thanks. There we go. Now it's properly lubed. Heh. <laughs> Lube. Come on, man. This is, uh, I love this kind of game. This is right along the lines with, uh, Discworld or Blazing Dragons. You guys remember Blazing Dragons and, and Discworld? Voiced by Eric Idle, by the way, if you didn't know that. If you like point-and-click adventures and you haven't played Blazing Dragons and Discworld, you are missing out. PlayStation 1 games, like, go get the emulator and the game right now after you finish watching this, of course. And, you know, while you're at it, watch all my other videos. <laughs> Alright, let's put this chain on the thing. Presto. Okay, so what else is wrong with it? I already fixed the chain, but some cogs are missing. Well, how do I make the cogs? Do I make them out of soap? Nuh uh. With the screwdriver? No, I don't. I don't do that. They're probably in the kitchen. How do I get into the kitchen? I'd rather not open it. The giant rat could escape and bite me. Hmm. Okay. We're at a conundrum. The soap is to make something slippery. That makes sense. I don't know what I need the screwdriver for. Can I examine the old coat? Can I look at it? I'd love to get some info on the coat. All right. It's broken. The tires are flat and everything else is rusty. Can I do anything with it? I them? would love to terrorize the town as the demon bike rider again, but this bicycle is beyond repair. Demon bike rider. Fish tank. It's a very complicated fish tank, but it perfectly emulates the natural habitat of my fish Domingo. He is a rare kind of fish that only lives in weird fish tanks. <laughs> I don't even know how to get this tank open anymore. Well, hopefully I won't need to. Bicycle horn! Grab it! It's screwed to the bicycle. Well, we have something for that, don't we? Come to ah. me, my instrument of eternal terror. There should have been an unscrewing animation, but, I mean, it's an indie game. We'll be forgiving. It's still very, very cool. So what do we do with this thing? Stronger than he looks and could steal this from me. I better keep my stuff at a safe distance. Aww. I don't That's think That's not so. what I was going for. He is stronger than he looks. Alright, alright. That's not what I wanted to do, but that's okay. I think that's all the interaction I can get out there. Check the basement again. There's got to be something we're missing. There I archive all my taxes and expenses. I'm evil, but I'm organized. It's my research about cyber... Turns yes, out that's why. I... I've already read those papers. I wrote them. Hmm... There 
There's nothing to unscrew there. Well, I'll probably need it again for something else. No, no, no. I already fixed the chain, but some cogs are missing. Yes, yeah, so where do I get the cogs? I can't get into the kitchen. I need something that scares away rats. Like the cybernetic chicken. But I don't have a soul to put in the uh, to put in the soul slot. Maybe soap will do the trick, I don't know. We'll just put a bunch of, try a bunch of stuff. I can't use the cane with that. No, you can't, but we're gonna Oh, there's the examine, okay. It's my hook shaped cane. I generally use it to ruin the school musicals by yanking kids off the stage with it. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna need it to reach something that's out of reach. It's full of holes and stinks. I wonder why I haven't burnt the thing already. Maybe we need to burn it for something. A fully functional screwdriver. Yay! Non-abrasive soap for my delicate skin. It's a loud bicycle horn. I love this thing. I almost gave Mrs. Johnson a heart attack with it. And I can't scare Dan with it. Maybe I can scare the rat? Or the fish, for all I know. I don't think it's a good idea to use this horn with that. I don't think it's a good idea to use this horn with that. Isn't it, though? I mean, what can I do about the giant rat in there? can't use the cane with that. Hmm. Alright, I'm stuck. Some of my favorite books. How to be an evil mastermind in only 12 easy steps. Doom and destruction. And the three little piggies. <laughs> Search the nightstand. I don't want anything from there. Fine. How about the wardrobe? Nothing here seems useful. Well then. Grab the sock. It's just one. I don't want just one sock. Yeah. That's my super comfy bed. Well, it isn't that comfy, but at least it's a bed. A wonderful night to be evil. If you can get out the house, dude. Yeah, it's broken. I removed the cuckoo to make a homing missile a long time ago. Now it's just full of cogs and gears. Cogs and gears, dude. Come on. The lid is screwed to the clock. I can't open it with my bare hand. Now we're getting somewhere. Nope. Ta -ta. It was already broken. Grab the cogs. I hope I didn't just void the warranty on this thing. You already took the cuckoo out to make a homing missile. Which, by the way, is awesome. All right, let's put some cogs in this thing. Why? Be cogs, we can. Go on, do the thing. Perfect. Oh yeah. Works now, does it? Let's go flip the switch, Igor. It Don't look at it. Use it. Very useful. Yes, I know, Girl Scouts. Hey, Dan, let me out. Ha! You'll never be able to... Ah! <laughs> Hi, Dan. Would you care to explain this whole trapping me in my castle business now? Ha ha! You think you've defeated me, but I've won. Fascinating. I find your claims tenuous at best coming from inside of a jail cell. I have delayed you enough here. They are already in town. There's no escape now. Who are they, and why would I want to escape from them? Have you been sneaking mushrooms out of my gardens again? <laughs> I told you those are for my alchemical experiments. You don't get it, do you? Nope. No idea what you're talking about. I've hired the Romero brothers. 
The most infamous demon hunters alive are coming for you. They've long been here by now. There is truly no escape for you. They'll track and hunt you down. They are the best of the best. Okay. I kept you from getting a head start on Flea. Like I said, I wasn't going to I flee. Win. You're done. Oh, come on, you moron. Don't you realize that it's the villain who's supposed to give their whole plan away with overly detailed monologues? You've gone and messed Got up a our dynamic. You don't get it? The Romero brothers are the best, and they will never do it. <laughs> I was gonna do I was gonna do that. Golden. Now then, let's analyze this little situation I've found myself in. A team of demon hunters are, well, hunting me. It's kind of flattering that the so-called best of the best are after me, oh my. Well, if these Romero brothers want a war, then I'm going on the offensive. I'll need to go downtown to check them out. And give them a warm welcome to Darkestville. Mwah ha ha ha! But, uh, <laughs> I should probably quit wasting time with maniacal laughter and get going. I've got a lot of work to do after all. So I'll make a neutron bomb and hide it inside a cheesecake. That is the perfect plan. No, 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 no. That's really I would fall for that. I need to go get some cheesecake. Cheese. Oh, there they are. That's not the Romero brothers. Good evening, little fellow. Is that Darkestville Castle? What? What kind of question is that? You're in Darkestville. She has a fox tail. Castle. Now, please mind your own business. I'm really busy right now. Okay, team. You hear the man. The demon should be trapped inside. Let's do our job. To the hunt. What? What was I saying? Uh, oh, come on! So let's discard the neutron bomb cheesecake. What about a neutron bomb? Did they just bust down the door? It wasn't even locked. What am I thinking? With that giant rat inside the kitchen, I can't bake anything. Okay. All the plans involving cooking are null. Man. That's like half my repertoire. <laughs> the job is done, sir. That demon is now inside our prison chest. It won't be bothering you again. Did they catch the rat? Your payment in the last letter, so I think that's all. Goodbye, and thank you for hiring the Romero brothers. Wait, what? The Romero brothers? They didn't recognize me. <laughs> oh, once again, my wit and... Wait a minute. My castle? What were they doing there? <laughs> Domingo! No! They took him away! My lovely fish, Domingo. No one messes with you. Now this is personal. Yeah, it is. All right, this game is messed up. This is exactly the kind of humor a point-and-click adventure is supposed to have. Well done, you've managed to complete the demo. In full version, you'll find out how to defeat the... How I defeated the Romero brothers and saved my beloved pet fish Domingo, or not, or yes, anyway, that'll be lots of fun. This has been either, depending on which voice actor you believe, Darksville Castle or Darkestville Castle. Um, they really need to coordinate. <laughs> it's better. At least the guy doing the direction should have uh, been should have known enough to correct one of them. But that happens. That happens. No big deal. Um, I would have liked a little more animation, but this so brings back uh, the childhood feels. I love playing games like this. I look forward to playing this one when it's out. Until then, and this is, unless, again, unless somebody points out to me, dude, you haven't played this one and you really need to, this is the last part of my Games Fest series. It has been a blast. I've learned and discovered a whole lot of new cool things, and I'm going to be so broke when these come out because I'm getting all the ones that have really impressed me. Minion out.